I'm Matt Bichard with NareetsReet.com. Here at the Wynn Las Vegas for REIT World 2015, NARIT's annual convention for all things REIT. Joining me today is Andy McCullough, Managing Director of Real Estate Analytics with Green Street Advisors. Andy, thanks so much for joining us. Happy to be here. Now, Green Street recently published a report called The Ninth Inning, which has received quite a bit of media attention. Can you tell us a little bit about the key takeaways of the report? Sure. The report looks at commercial real estate values and opines where we are in the cycle. And I, and I think you could probably guess by the title of that report, Green Street believes we're in the later innings. I think said differently, uh, it appears to us that real estate has gotten fairly expensive. Uh, over the past six years or so, values for commercial property have roughly doubled. And prices today sit about 20% above the previous peak uh, that we saw in 2007. The real question is where do we go from here? And I think to help us answer that question, we look at two particular markets. We look at the bond market and we look at the REIT market. And we look at those two markets because they've tended to be pretty good predictors of the direction of commercial real estate values over time. In the bond market, we look at the spread between corporate bond yields uh, and unlevered returns on real estate. Uh, and in the REIT market, we look to see where REITs are trading relative to the underlying value of their assets. Are they trading at premiums or are they trading at discounts? Uh, what we find really interesting about these two markets is that they had been sending very bullish signals for real estate. They'd been really sending bullish signals for over five years until about the first quarter of this year. And those markets did a 180 degree turn, uh, corporate bond yields gapped out, REIT securities sold off. Those are bad signals for the future direction of real estate values, and the report uh, draws attention to that. Uh, but I think it's important to point out that we're not calling for a big correction in asset values. I think what we, what we do expect to see, though, is asset pricing to flatten out uh, and potentially fall slightly uh, over the next 12 months. And by slightly, I mean order of magnitude 3 to 5%. Uh, with that said, it seems like Green Street's view of asset values is somewhat of an outlier. What's the bull case for real estate? Uh, it does feel like uh, our stance is a bit of an outlier, uh, but there is a bull case, and I think the bull case does have some merit. Uh, the bull case really consists of two big points. Uh, the first point is operating fundamentals. Operating fundamentals are still pretty healthy. So even if cap rates stay roughly flattish from here, uh, values can go up because net operating income or NOI is still growing. That will push values higher. Uh, the second big point is there's still a lot of capital looking for a home in real estate uh, in both domestic capital and foreign capital. Uh, there are select sovereign wealth funds that have pulled back a little bit given the correction in oil prices, uh, but for the most part, uh, demand from foreign entities remains robust. Uh, so what does that bull case potentially mean, uh, to go back to our, our baseball analogy, uh, is that this cycle could go into extra innings, so values could continue to rise slowly uh, for the next couple years. Uh, I think it's important to also look at past cycles, and if you look at past cycles, you have seen periods where asset pricing shoots well beyond fair value uh, before ultimately correcting. Now, you, you mentioned that operating fundamentals are part of this potential bull case. What are you seeing there? That's a great question. We, we don't think operating fundamentals are, are in the ninth inning. I think it's always important um, when talking real estate to separate the discussions, uh, separate the discussion of asset values from the discussion of operating fundamentals. Uh, where we sit today, it feels like operating fundamentals are about in the sixth inning. Uh, supply really isn't, new supply, uh, isn't really problematic yet uh, on a national basis. And if you look at the U.S. economy, it's growing. It's, it's growing slowly, but it's still growing uh, and creating jobs. So why, why we as a firm think asset value your appreciation is going to stop and potentially reverse. Uh, we expect rents to grow for the next several years and probably grow at a pace uh, well in excess of inflation. Andy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. For more from REIT World 2015, be sure to visit REIT.com.